Hello boys and girls on YouTube who want to learn Python. Welcome to another Python web scra scraping tutorial and today we're going to talk about the very uh, much used uh, functions of beautiful soup which, which are find and find all. So let's dive into this. So beautiful soups find and find all uh, are the two functions you will likely use the most with them you can easily filter html pages to find lists of desired tags or a single tag based on their various uh, attributes so the two functions are extremely similar as evidenced by their definitions in the beautiful soup documentation so please check the documentation uh, let's go over find uh, and find all uh, first find you have the the tags um, uh, tag attributes recursive text limit uh, excuse me limit is not in find it's text and keywords and find all it's similar just that it has limit in, in there in addition as arguments <clears throat> so in all likelihood, 95% of the time, you will find yourself only needing to use the first two arguments, tag and attributes. However, let's take a look at all of the arguments in greater detail. So the tag argument is uh, one uh, what that we've seen before in the previous example. You can pass a string name of a tag or even a Python list of string tag names, for example, the line on the side of tags here uh, it will return a list of all the header tags in a document so just a note here if you're looking to get a list of all h and then send level tags in the document there are more succinct ways of writing this code to accomplish the same thing we'll like we'll take a, a deeper look at other ways of approaching these types of problems in a later tutorials uh, which are more about regular regular expressions and lambda expression expressions excuse me uh, and the next excuse me here's a typo here it should be attributes sorry about let me fix that as we go sorry about that uh, attributes uh, argument takes a Python dictionary of attributes and matches tags that contain any of those attributes. So the example that we see on the right for attributes, uh, that's a function that would return both the green and red span tags in the HTML document. And recursive argument is a Boolean. How deeply into the document do you want to go if uh, recursive is set to true? The find all function looks into children and children's children for tags that match your par parameters. If it is false, it will uh, look only at the top level tags in your document. By default, find all works recursively. That means recursive is set to true. So it's a generally good, uh, good idea to leave this as is unless you really know what you need to do and and performance is an issue and the next argument is the text argument and it, this argument is unusual in that it matches based on the text contents of the tags rather than properties of the tags themselves for instance if we want to find the number of times the prince uh, was surrounded by tags on the example page we could replace our dot find all function uh, in the previous example that we did in the earlier tutorial with the with the following lines here this is an example where we put uh, what we want to search for in in a, in a list and then we print uh, print the length of the name list and then it should be uh, seven and the limit argument is of course only used in the find all method and here is the difference in, in find all and find that is find is equivalent to the same find all call with a lim limit of one. You might set, uh, you might set this if you were only interested in retrieving the first X items 
of the page but uh, be aware however that this gives you the first item on the page in order uh, that they occur not necessarily the first ones that you want so that is the main difference between find and find all and then we have the keyword argument that allows you to select tags that contain a particular attribute or set of attributes for example this uh, example will return all tags with the word text in the class attribute and title in the id attribute and one note on the keyword argument uh, there's a caveat there the keyword argument can be very helpful in some situations however it, it is technically uh, redundant as a beautiful soup feature keep in mind that anything that can be done with keyword can also be accomplished using techniques we will discuss later in the tutorials like i mentioned the regular we will talk about regular expressions and lambda expressions for instance the first two lines uh, here on the presentation are identical and in addition you might occasionally run into problems using keyword most notably when searching for elements by their class attribute because class is a protected keyword in python that is class is a reserved word in python that cannot be used as a variable or argument name uh, and this has no relation to the beautiful soup.find all keyword argument that we discussed previously. And uh, to get the complete list of protected keywords, I highly recommend you to check out the Python language reference. Uh, so, for example, uh, if you try the following class, you'll get syntax error due to the non-standard use of class in, the, in the, this line here. Instead, you can use beautiful uh, soup's somewhat clumsy solution, which invol involves adding an underscore here. Or you can enclose the class in quotes. So at it, this point, you might be asking yourself, but wait, don't I already know how to get a tag with a list of attributes by passing attributes to the function in a dictionary list? So recall that passing a list of tags to find all a function via the attributes list acts as an or filter in example it selects a list of all tags that have tag one or tag two or tag three etc if you have a lengthy list of tags you can end up with a lot of stuff you don't want the keyword argument allows you to add an additional and filter to this so this is uh, this is it for this video guys this is a short introduction to the find and find all and we'll get into more about beautiful soup and other objects in the next tutorials so i hope you enjoyed this uh, video and if you did please hit the like button subscribe comment or share the video and help me uh, spread the word about these tutorials i would appreciate that and i love you guys for following these tutorials and i hope to see you in the next video thank you and bye